Every frame of video is stored on the surface of a half-inch magnetic tape. Your VHS player Verbatim. is also a mechanical device. It has spinny things inside and the magnetic tape moves through it. In the analog world, you could just output VHS tapes to your very forgiving television and it looked just fine. But then, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates had to ruin all that with computers in every home and then everyone wanted to digitize analog tapes. You want to digitize analog tapes. I know this because you are still watching a video on what to most people is an incredibly boring topic. I salute you, VHS enthusiasts, data hoarders, and family memory keepers. What does this have to do with TBCs? The title said something about TBCs. Well, we're almost there. VHS players are mechanical devices. The video seems like it is playing at 29.97 frames per second. Or 25 frames per second in PAL end. But it isn't exactly. So when your imprecise mechanical device delivers video to the very precise capture device, the latter sometimes freaks out, or perhaps it's the computer software that freaks out and start dropping frames. That's bad. Imagine that each of these Star Wars action figures represent a frame of video. I know this isn't the best illustration, but if there is a chance that I can use my 40-year-old action figures as a tax write-off, damn it, I'm going to try. And now you are all my accomplices. Notice that there is an uneven amount of space between them as they move along through the VHS player. That's no good. What we need is a kind of a waiting room where, say, two or three of these frames can go before being sent off to the capture device, but in a perfectly timed way. This is what the time-based corrector does. It is a little buffer that has just enough room to correct the timing between each frame. And as I said earlier, this helps avoid this source of dropped frames. And you don't want dropped frames because then the video and audio will end up out of sync. It's a huge pain to fix because it can go out of sync now it's gradually. It's easier to have my shake because Ultra Slim Fast comes ready to drink in new cans. To sum up, audio video synchronization problems happen because of dropped frames. Dropped frames happen when the video signal comes into the capture device at an uneven rate. <laughs> A frame time base corrector in your workflow will help prevent all or most dropped frames. If this video was 29.97% useful to you, or even 25%, then do give it a thumbs up.